new copyright rules fit for the digital age. That's what the European Union wants to get out of European Commission legislative proposals. EU lawmakers want to ensure broad access to online content whilst protecting the rights of content creators. MEPs discussed with the European Commission and civil society at a hearing here in the European Parliament. The EU Commissioner for Education, Culture, Youth and Sport, Tibor Navraksex, explained more. The new law will strike a good balance between the demand of uh, consumers to have uh, an accessible market to cultural content and uh, the fair remuneration of the creators of the cultural content. At the hearing, Axel Voss from the EPP group stood in for the European Parliament's rapporteur on this issue, Therese comodini kakia We are looking for a balanced situation for consumers and for the creative industry. And of course we would like to avoid obstacles for the consumers, but at the other, uh, on the other hand we are looking for a fair remuneration also for the creative industry. Anne Bergman-Tahon is the director of the Federation of European Publishers. Commenting on the copyright proposals, she said... We hope that they will uh, simplify for both the creators and the users access to the works and that they will make it uh, uh, simpler for works to uh, travel around Europe. Axel Voss went on to talk about how the legislation can prevent illegal downloads of content. Illegal downloads are already forbidden and uh, um, this is not uh, a kind of a new um, crime prevention law. This is more saying what can you use legally and um, in, in these uh, copyright issues. Um, it's more finding more clarity that you have not a grey zone. Commissioner Navraksex explained his view on the same issue. We're going to have a lot of safeguards uh, for banning the illegal, uh, downloading illegal contents. It uh, scale up uh, our possibilities to, to diminish uh, illegal downloads. Anne Bergman-Tahan also commented on the illegal download issue. We hope that by simplifying and legalizing a number of users that it will allow uh, uh, the, the, the legitimate market to flourish. Ensuring broad access to data for researchers and the educational system as a whole is another aim of the legislation. During the hearing, Commissioner Navraksix spoke about education and copyright. Digital technologies are also increasingly used in Europe's classrooms. He explained more about the Commission's proposal for an exception to copyright in educational contexts. With the new teaching exception, Universities, schools and teachers will have clarity when using protected materials as part of their teaching with digital tools and in online courses, including across borders. Nearly 1,000. That's the number of changes MEPs have suggested to European Commission copyright proposals. MEPs will now sift through all of these ahead of votes in the European Parliament later this year. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in the European Parliament by checking out eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you next time.